Hi everyone, it's Evie Drayton, founder and coordinator of the Charleston Natural Hair Expo. And I'm here with a brief video to give you a little bit of insight on the 2019 Charleston Natural Hair Expo, as well as to give you some information that would be helpful for anybody who's interested in being a vendor or a sponsor and possibly even an attendee. The eighth annual Charleston Natural Hair Expo is going to take place on Saturday, June 29th, 2019. And the all white brunch that we're gonna have is gonna take place on Sunday, June 30th, 2019. So for next year's expo, we took a look at the floor plan and we have made a few changes. We took out some of the booths that were at the show this year and also we changed the size to some of the booths as well. So um, we will have some eight by eight booths and we will have the majority of the booths to be 10 by 10. Now, the pricing for vendor booths this year will range from $250 to $550. If you are interested in taking advantage of the early bird special, which we have every year, um, the early bird special is $100 off of your vendor table if you buy it, of course, early. And the deadline for the early bird special will be November 1st. You have to make sure that you have a booth that is $350 and above. So this year, you guys will be able to select your booths in advance um, by a color-coded floor plan that we have. Um, if you have any questions about the floor plan, please feel free to email me or email the team at info at charlestonnaturalhairexpo.com. So every year after the expo, we do a post-event survey for our uh, sponsors and vendors, and we did have a couple of questions, so I'm gonna answer those questions here in this video, and hopefully that'll give you a little bit of insight and help you guys out as you're planning to become a vendor or a sponsor for the expo this year. Now, one comment that was made from one of our sponsors or vendors was that they think that we should strategically place the food vendors on the four corners of the expo. This year and in previous years, we've had all of the food vendors located in one space. Um, the reason why we do that is because I would hate to go to an event and if I walk in and I go say left um, I would hate to walk into the event and I see this food vendor and I'm like oh man I want to get something from you know what they have and then by the time I get to the other side of the event I see another food vendor who has something different that I may have chosen to get over the other food vendor had I seen them first so for that reason uh, we will be keeping all the food vendors in the same area we will not spread them apart on different sides of the room I just feel like that way everybody knows that this is the general area where all food can be purchased and you can make your decision based on you know having everybody in the same area versus having to walk around the expo to see you know what the different options are for food so this year just like any other year the food vendors will all be located in the same area one question that we were asked was is it possible to section off a roped off area in the parking lot for vendors and sponsors to be able to load in in the morning we do have the day before the expo which is going to be friday june 28th that will be the load-in day from probably about noon until 6 p.m. So you have that opportunity to get all of your items loaded in. And also, again, the next day, the day of the expo, for those of you who may not be able to attend on Friday, our uh, vendor and sponsor load-in and setup starts at 7 a.m. So it's best to definitely take advantage of that early time because the line doesn't normally start forming until about 9 o'clock. At that point, um, we you know we aren't we aren't able to block off a certain amount of parking for vendors and sponsors because we would like you to actually be there early. So just try to take advantage of being there early so that you can get your items loaded in, so you can get your booth set up, so when the doors open, you can already be ready and set to go. Uh, another vendor commented that they thought it would be very helpful to have a small business panel, so we are going to take that into consideration, and we might be looking for some small businesses to take part in the small business panel. We typically do a large larger scale panel of CEOs and uh, larger brands, but we will definitely take that into consideration this year. So now I'm gonna merge two questions into one because uh, the answers kind of coincide. So one question was, is it possible for us to maybe reduce the vendor fee a little bit? And a second question was, or a comment and question was that the aisles were a little bit crowded and was it possible to maybe um, create some more aisle space? So we have come up with something that we think will work for those vendors who were asking for more aisle space and then a more um, economical vendor rate. So what we did was we created some eight by eight vendor booths. Instead of having all of the booths be a 10 by 10 space, we created 
um, some 8x8 spaces. If you're interested in a cheaper booth rate, then you can uh, look into getting maybe an 8x8 space, which will be $250. Now the $250 8x8 spaces will not qualify for the early bird special because the $100 off goes towards booth spaces that are $350 and above. So keep that in mind as you're looking to make your decision. So to move on to tickets for the attendees. The attendee tickets will go on sale in November. Um, typically what happens is within the first 30 days, 30 to 60 days, all of the VIP tickets sell out. Like they sell out first every single year because we only do a limited amount of VIP tickets. So those tickets will go on sale in November, probably the first part of November, maybe November 1st. Um, but stay tuned for that if you're interested in getting yourself a VIP ticket, if you're interested in purchasing an early bird ticket because we do run an early bird special for the tickets as well. Um, typically maybe half the price of what they would normally cost. So keep your eyes open for the, the tickets to go on sale in November. It's going to be either October or November. So I think this should cover everything that we need to cover as far as expo uh, attendees, vendors, and sponsors. But if you guys have any questions about the expo as far as attending, being a sponsor, or being a vendor, feel free to reach out to us at info at charlestonnaturalhairexpo.com and we hope to see you at the 2019 Charleston Natural Hair Expo. I hope you enjoyed the Charleston Natural Hair Expo in the blind. Thank you.